tell us about what attendees will come to expect uh, from your presentation at the Advanced Medicine Conference. Well, the theme of the Advanced Medicine Conference is evolution of man and medicine. And I think that the, the subject matter is going to be talking about something that is critically needed right now on the planet, an understanding of what mankind is going through right now. And I think from a historical perspective, this time history will remember as a very, very formidable time because there are a lot of transformations taking place. And some of the changes that are, that are occurring, perhaps people don't understand. And I'm hoping that this conference, at least my presentation, I know Dr. Lipton's and some of the other presenters, our, our presentations are gonna to help to illuminate that change that's occurring right now. That awareness that some people have and other people are in a state of confusion. But more and more people, I think, as a collective, as, as a, the society is almost evolving to, as Dr. Lipton likes to talk about as an organism, is starting to understand that this is a critical juncture in human history. And that evolutionary process of what seems to be chaotic is actually instrumental for the next step in evolution in order to make us better, faster, stronger, et cetera, et cetera. So the theme of the conference is that, and my lecture is gonna be talking about a few specific components in medicine as to where we are now, where we're going, where some of the speakers are gonna be talking about where we were and where we've got to at this point. Okay, yeah, that's great. Um, Dr. Bruce Lipton, would you kindly tell us what uh, attendees would come to expect with your presentation? I'm looking forward to uh, being at this program on evolution and man and medicine for a very important reason, because as a uh, biologist uh, and a cell biologist at that, uh, I've started to understand that we are facing an evolutionary upheaval, and that's why we see all the chaos going on on the planet right now. Uh, and the biggest issue in this upheaval is that we have created, and I mean we humans, have created what is called the sixth mass extinction of life on this planet. Five times in the history of this planet, life was thriving, and then some of cataclysmic event uh, destroyed from 70 to 90 percent of life. Well, the last one is when the comet hit the Earth and upended the dinosaurs back 60 over 60 million years ago and wiped out all the dinosaurs and, and 90 percent of life. Today, we are in the sixth mass extinction of uh, life on this planet. Uh, we've already lost up 70% almost of the animals since 1950 have been gone from this planet. Uh, and we're in the phase of realizing that uh, there's a very short term left before uh, extinction takes us down as well. Uh, and it turns out, of course, human behavior is creating the current situation. So the only way out of the current situation is to change human behavior. And this conference really gives us an insight into uh, why this evolution is occurring and how our behavior, which includes our consciousness and uh, what we presume is uh, uh, our ability to control our lives become very important right now. And I've been working on a new biology for years called epigenetics, which is how uh, your perception of the world controls your biology. Uh, and as a result, uh, we've been emphasizing for years genes control life, and, and that, that vision made us a victim of heredity, that genes came down my family line, gave me some illness, and I'm just a victim in the line. Uh, that took away our power. The new science of epigenetics, which I'll emphasize as well as the evolutionary story, is the story of how our consciousness is involved with selecting our genes and then adjusting our genetic activity. Uh, so the profound important point of this conference, and I'm so happy to have this invitation from Dr. Buttar because this organization uh, is really looking at the leading edge of what's going on in this world. And this uh, new understanding is all about self-empowerment and, and uh, taking back control of your health. But you can't do that if you don't understand what health is based on. So uh, I look forward to everyone showing up because uh, between all the other presenters and myself and especially Dr. Batar, we will provide a lot of foundational information to take charge of your life, to empower your life and create the kind of future you would like to have on this planet. So I'm so looking forward to this opportunity because knowledge is power and the knowledge I'm going to offer is knowledge of self. Uh, and that just relates very simply to uh, self-empowerment. So uh, I'm looking forward for this opportunity to meet all of you there. Kyle, I'd like to 
I'd like to uh, add a few more things, and this is something that Dr. Lipton has been instrumental in helping influence my practice of medicine, which has resulted in patients for now over 90 countries. But one of the things that is most profound when we start to realize and understand uh, how the environment dictates our expression of our genetic code, yeah. there's only there's 100,000 proteins or so that have been discovered and that have been uh, described whereas there's only 20,000 genes in the human genome. So if a gene defines a, a protein, then it doesn't make any sense because there's only 20,000 genes. So why is it that one gene that's supposed to dictate one protein actually dictates up five or more proteins? And the reason is, is because of the environmental trigger that then influences the gene to express itself in a certain way. And this expression of the genetic code, uh, as Dr. Lipton was talking about with epigenetics, how it's explained and how it's the environmental trigger, one of the most important significant things about this particular aspect that has escaped modern medicine is this this concept of how the individual's understanding and perception and belief dictate what the potential outcome is and one of the basic fundamental foundations upon which i build our clinical results is to make the individual as dr lipton said the power to heal is, uh, is yours or empowerment. We end the radio show that we do have been doing for 10 years is the power to heal is yours. That, that understanding, that, un, that awareness, that it is their fundamental belief that first and foremost is the defining factor whether they're going to get success versus failure is a very, very important aspect that I think people attribute to a metaphysical, you know, um, foo-foo type thing. This is hard, hard science. I mean, this is hardcore science you know, based in quantum physics supported by multiple Nobel laureates and how we are able to essentially uh, create the reality that we want, but it all starts fundamentally from that aspect of belief. And so part of this conference is that that empowerment aspect is to help them to understand how that belief is going to be one of the most critical, if not the most critical aspect of them be being able to get the result that they're hoping to get. People think belief, okay, I believe it, and then they look for the result. This is like, are you willing to put your life on the line type of belief? Because belief, you know, before anything could have become a reality, it had to first be a thought. And in order for that thought to materialize, they had, somebody had to believe in it. So that's where it all starts. And that's part of also what we're going to be doing. That's one reason I'm so excited that Dr. Lipton's going to be there because, you know, he, he, is the, he is the man about belief. And so with his help and with the help of some of the other speakers, it's gonna allow me to be able to do what I was hoping to achieve much, much more easier because that fundamental aspect of belief will be uh, grounded in science and presented in a way that's easily digestible and understandable. And then we will provide proof to show how that belief works. Why is it that one stage 2B cancer patient with no metastatic disease, no multi-organ system failure, has the same treatments and dies within two years, whereas another patient person that has multi uh, stage disease, metastatic all throughout their body, stage four, uh, you know, in organ failure, looks like they're not going to survive another day. And 12 years, 15 years, 18 years later, they're still around of being productive members of society, having gone through the same treatment. Well, this, the, re, the differentiating factor is their belief system. What did they believe? One believed that they could make it, the other one didn't. And so uh, understanding this and understanding how to harness this is a very, very critical component to being able to achieve whatever health outcome we want. So that's one of the other aspects of this that hopefully it's not just going to be theoretical and esoteric information that's going to be presented. It's going to be practical, pragmatic solutions that people will be provided with that when they leave 48 hours later, they will have something tangible to show for what they attended and hopefully be able to experience the benefit of what we're talking about firsthand. I'm sure they're getting, looking forward to that too.